and welcome to Top Solid Sun. In this video, we're going to be programming an Akuma LU3000EX. To get started with, we're going to get our machine ready to program. Okay, and to do that, I'm just going to start on my project here and I'm going to start a new machining. I'm going to go from my project templates here. I have a template for my LU3000 ready. We'll go ahead and green check that to open it. You can see I have my ROM chuck in there right now. If I zoom out, you can see the machine definition that's present. If you want, we can turn on the entire machine so you can see that it's all there. Okay, I just like having just what I need visible. Okay, now before we begin, uh, tooling. Tooling is super important when you're programming machines like this. Okay, in Top Solid, we want to make it as simple as possible for you to deal with your tooling. So, one of the best ways to do that is to use what we call saved searches. I'm just going to drag that over here so we can see it. So my saved searches, I'm going to start by looking for my library of turning holders. I'm going to pin this up so you can just see what I'm doing here kind of in real time. So these are turning holders that I use a lot of. And you can see I can click through them. You have a preview. You can go into a live preview right there and see if this is the tool holder you want or not. Okay. Maybe it's this one that we're looking for. Yeah, I think, I, I think that's the right one. So I'm just going to drag and drop that and pop it right onto my upper turret. And when I do that, you're going to see that it locates it right on the pocket that I dropped it on. And if you need to, of course, you can go and make any changes you want. So I'm going to say, let's put this in pocket number one. We'll green check. I'm going to say that that's its own positioning group. And I'm going to bring a second one in right away too, because I know I'm going to have a roughing tool and a finishing tool. Okay. Again, perfect. Now, Maybe from here, I want to add a turning, a turning tool. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go to my OD tools. And here you can see I have my face grooves, my cutoff tools, my grooves, my profiles, OD turning. If I double click on OD turning, I'll show a couple more results here. And I'm going to say maybe I'm looking for a left hand, one inch square, C series, 3 8 insert. Drag it over so you can see. And maybe we want a 1 64th insert. And again, middle click. Go to live preview, that looks great. And I'm gonna drag and drop that right onto here. Now, lots of ways to insert tools into Top Solid. This is one of them, okay? If I go to my tool edition now, let me drag this window over, and notice it was a right click away, by the way. I can come here and I can play with, pardon me, the indexation angle. Okay, so now that tool is facing the correct way. I can even play with my gauge distance. And this gauge distance can be uh, set in a setup sheet later on so that the operator knows how far the tool needs to stick out. For now, I'm just going to stick that out one inch. Green check. Next, maybe I'm going to grab a right hand tool. Same concept, one inch, but maybe this is going to be a V series. And again, I'll again, go with the 164th for now. And I'm going to drag and drop that directly into its tool holder. Okay, so hopefully you're starting to see that it's pretty easy to define your tooling. Now, let's say that we wanted to use one of these holders on the lower turret. Well, I can go back to my searches or we can use the power of windows here. For example, I'm gonna hold control and simply drag and drop a copy of this over to this turret and I can choose where I want this to be. Maybe I want that to be in pocket five. Perfect, have its own positioning group. So here we're gonna go get the roughing tool again. Again, a left hand, 164th. Perfect, we'll drag and drop that in. Go edit this, flip it so that it's correct. Perfect. We'll set that out to one inch also. Okay, so this is showing you different ways of setting up tooling in our solution. Okay, maybe now we also want to include our steady rest. Well, no problem. I can go here and activate the search for my steadies. This machine has a very specific study that goes into it, so I'm gonna drag and drop that in, pop it right into that position. Green check. And again, kind of get the idea. It's just really, really fast to tool up for whatever parts you're programming. Okay, let's look at putting some milling tools out of the machine now. So again, we're gonna start with tool holders, right? So I'm gonna look for one of my searches. I'm looking through to find the type of tool holder I want. I think this is the one. Maybe it's that one. Let's see. Yep, I like that one. So I'm going to drag and drop that, pop it in, and I'm just going to put this one 
right here. Okay, perfect. I know that I'm gonna put a second mill in right away as well. So I'm just gonna pop this in next to it. Maybe right there. Great. Now, here I'm gonna switch back to my machining mode. I'm gonna go up to my tool manager and I'm gonna go to pockets five and six and I'm gonna look in my library for a slot mill. Now, when I look in my library for a slot mill, what I want you to pay attention to is the fact that there are a lot of tools already in here. Top Solid has more than 6,000 tool definitions already done in inches, ready for our customers to start programming with right out of the box. Okay, so let's look for the one we're looking for. I want a quarter inch. Maybe in this case, I want it to have one inch of flute. So here I have four varieties because I have different flute numbers on here. I'm gonna say a simple four fluter is gonna be perfect. Click OK, and like that, you can see I have my quarter inch end mill. Let's do it again. This time, let's look for a half inch. So I'm gonna say half inch. And again, maybe this time, maybe we'll look for an inch and a quarter. Let's see, that looks okay. And four flute again, perfect. And I have my tools. And again, you can adjust the tool stick out distance all you want. 